everyone, my name is Kay Kothoff and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. Today we're going to create a card with the Bubble Over Bundle. It looks like this and I got the idea from on stage when we went to Salt Lake City this past November and it was one of the make and takes that Stampin' Up! did. Now I have changed it, I made it actually a little bit easier because we're going to use this awesome paper from Celebration to cut out the bottles. This is one of the cards we'll be making at Spring Fling, an annual event that my downline and I put on here in a few weeks. And this is uh, what the stamp set looks like and the framelits. Now there are some framelits missing, but it's pretty. It's a pretty nice bundle. And you can use it for a lot of different things, whether it would be masculine cards or in love cards, thank you cards, birthday cards. There's just a lot of options with this particular bundle. So let me show you the paper because that's kind of the star in this card. We're going to be using the Bubbles and Fizz Designer Series paper, which is one of those celebration items that you can get between now and March 31st of 2018. And so when you purchase $50, this is a great little add-on, especially if you're getting the Bubble Over Bundle. And we are just going to be cutting out some of these bottles right here in the designer paper. And then we're also cutting up some of this designer paper so that we can use it on our card. So let's go ahead and make the card and you can just see how easy this is to do. We're going to start with some Bermuda Bay paper. This is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and one fourth. And I will go ahead, grab my bone folder, I'm going to fold it along the score line here and give it a press so that it will lie flat for us while we're working with it. The next thing we're going to do is the inside panel, which is Whisper White. This is four by five and a quarter, and we are going to stamp just a little sentiment on there. We're going to use our Lemon Lime Twist in color ink, and we have a sentiment here that is going to be stamped right on that Whisper White panel. So I have the Stampin' Mat since this is a photopolymer stamp set. Just going to stamp this right here. And then we're going to take these little bubbles also with Lemon Lime Twist and just add a few bubbles just like this. Isn't that cute? So that's going to go into the inside panel. So I'm going to take some snail, run a little line of it along the top of this panel, and we'll set this right here in the inside of our card. Give that a little press, and then the next thing we can do is work on the outside panel. So I'm going to set this aside for a minute. We're going to leave this right here. We're going to do a little bit of stamping on this 3 by 4 inch panel of Lemon Lime Twist. So what I'm going to do is, again, using Lemon Lime Twist ink, I'm going to stamp some bubbles along this top area and also along the bottom. And we don't really need to do it all the way through because mostly that's not going to show. So the next thing we're going to do is take some layers here and put right over the top of this Lemon Lime Twist panel. So I have four pieces from the Bubbles and Fizz Designer Series paper and all four are cut to the same size. They're all cut to one by four inches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this bubbly piece at the top and so to do that I'm just going to use some multi-purpose liquid glue and we'll just set this right here along the top so that a little bit of the bubbles are showing through right there and then we're going to take one along the bottom section I like to do the top and the bottom first because then I know exactly where I need to go with the other two panels so we'll put this this next one right here and now we can go ahead and do the same thing for these other two. So again, I'm just using a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue and setting it right onto this panel of Lemon Lime Twist. And again, all of these little strips of paper from the Bubbles and Fizz Designer Series paper pack were cut at one by four inches. All right, so that looks good. Now what we're gonna do is put dimensionals on the back of this. All right, so you can see that I've used five dimensionals on the back, and what I want to do now is bring the card base into the picture, and we're just going to center this right into our card so that everything 
is pretty well centered, about the same amount of space on the top and bottom and along the edges. Press that into place. And now we're gonna go with the Big Shot machine here. So let me show you the layers that I did. I used my magnetic platform, which you can see right here. Then I have a cut plate, and then I have a couple of straws here and a couple of those bottles from the Designer Series paper. So to, to do that, I just took this bottle piece here from the Designer Series paper, and I just went in and I rough cut these bottles apart. So you'll be able to get about 30 cards from one sheet of designer series paper if you're creating this exact design. So here's the small one, here's the large one. And as you can see, I have that right here on my cut plate. And then I added some washi tape because my, my bottles were kind of hard to stay in place. And this washi tape can be used over and over. So what I did is I washi taped the straws together and then when I pull this away, I can pull out the straw just like this. So you just pop it out with like a paper piercing tool or something similar. And then when I'm ready, I just keep this washi tape right like this and grab another piece of Whisper White and I'm ready to go. And then the other thing that I did is I washi taped my bottles. And again, this works really well. You can just pull away the excess, grab your bottle out of here, and then you're ready to go with the next bottle. And the washi tape will be sticky enough that you can use it over and over and over. And so again, the same thing with the larger bottle. And then again, you know, don't worry about it sticking because the washi tape is a little bit like a post-it note. It will stick well enough for you to use it, and then you can go ahead and use it on your next piece of paper that you run through the Big Shot machine. So I'll get this out of the way, and we're gonna go ahead and create this card. Now, since the card that I had in my sample uses one of these larger bottles, as you can see, I'm going to create a card with a smaller bottle. So the first thing that I do is I just grab one of these straws, and I just have that handy. And then I take some dimensionals, and I'm going to put a dimensional towards the top, and then one in the middle, and then one at the bottom. And then we'll take the peelies away and then we'll put the straw on over the top of the dimensionals. So here's our straw and we're going to set this just like this over the top of those dimensionals. Now there's enough dimensional on either side of the straw to catch on your card and yet there's some to hold the straw into place. So this is what the front will look like. And then we'll grab our base card here, and we're just gonna set this so it's pretty much right in the middle, but to the right. So you have your bottle centered in the card, and then you um, just press it down. The dimensionals will catch. And then as our finishing touch, we're going to take some epoxy shapes. This is our clear and glitter shapes. And we're just gonna add a couple of bubbles fizzing over, just like this. So let me grab one more here. And then the card is complete. So here's what we've just done. And here is the one that I had done in advance. Thank you so much for joining me today. I truly appreciate you. If you'd like to place a product order and get the Bubble Over bundle along with getting the paper that goes with it, you would want to visit my blog at www.stampingtoshare.com and there's links there that will take you to my online store. I truly appreciate you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.